Hello, all my wonderful people tuning in tonight. I am your host, the Speaking Shadow, Dark. How are y'all holding up with this crazy rainstorm we got going on right now? I just stopped by the old gas station down the road before coming into the studio tonight. And boy, it's raining cats and dogs out there. So just be careful out there and be sure to take your swimsuit because you might need it. Tonight we got a bit of a shorter story due to the inclement weather we got going on right now. We're going to talk about the infamous Mothman. Mothman is quite the infamous creature that just about everyone has heard of or maybe encountered throughout their life. Mothman brings trouble wherever he goes or so it seems that way. So if you see him, be sure to head the other way. So grab your snacks. Turn down the lights and buckle down for tonight's story, Mothman, brought to us by the Creepypasta Wiki. I hope you all have a nightmarish time. In Point Pleasant, West Virginia, there is a myth. As they say, but I call it a legend, Mothman. I am a photographer. I take many pictures of things, mostly people, nature, etc. One day while I was driving through West Virginia, I saw a bridge. A very large bird thing was on top of it. The thing had bright red eyes as if it wasn't really even a bird. As I researched it, I found out it was called the Mothman, and many other people had seen it as well. A few weeks went by as I wondered about the strange creature. I saw it in my dreams. Then, one night, while I was shooting pictures of a dark and scary place, I heard something that sounded like it was circling around me, flying. I looked up and all I could see were red eyes, scary eyes. I ran to my car and it followed. As I got back into town, somebody had a shirt on with this creature with those red scary eyes. I then started wondering if that thing was stalking me since I had taken a picture of it. Or, if it was possible, it was just wanting something from me. The first picture shows something that somebody found that an Indian man had made. So has this moth man been alive for over a hundred years? Is it even possible that it's a man who had something happen to him? The thing chased me in my car. I was going 75 and it was right on top of me. So this thing can fly as fast as my car, and probably even faster. I really don't want to upload my picture of the Mothman, in case something or someone will get frightened or mad. I have two pictures of the Mothman. Sadly, I don't want to upload it because they are frightening. Here's the picture I found that looks like the Mothman is hanging from a bridge. Some say that Mothman still lives today near the Golden Gate Bridge. Keep a good eye on him if you live. The Mothman only shows up when disasters are about to happen, as he is a sign of a warning. If you see Mothman, please contact me. Well, that was quite the strange one, if you ask me. A man who is also part moth sounds like the movie The Fly Gone Right. The rain seems to be coming down way harder than before now. And the wind is starting to pick up. I should get going before I get stuck here. Thank you all for tuning in and listening tonight. And be sure to tune in next time for another hellish story.